So the choice of the city is going to be, all right, let's put more pedestrians at risk by cramming them because we want, you know, the uh, garbage to get the royal treatment. And it's a political choice. And it seems to me that it's a simple choice, especially because legally there is nothing to prevent the, the, the garbage to be in the parking lane. When this happens on 6th Avenue, on 7th Avenue, on 8th Avenue, there is no space for pedestrians. It's disgusting. It's really disgusting. And the idea that the pedestrian, like us, have to walk next to that, the, the garbage is at the level of my face or above my head, you know? And I have my nose, I have to smell all that stuff all along. So we are at West 44th Street and 10th Avenue. It's a very pretty block, very old. And here is the standard width. We kind of have two people crossing each other. Uh, and this is the widest. If you can imagine when we have the garbage piled up, it's overflowing everywhere. You just literally cannot walk. A couple of years ago, we were here at night and we could not possibly walk. There was a family with a stroller, right? And the stroller couldn't make it through, a stroller for one kid. You don't need much more than one parking space, which can absorb about hundreds of bags. When we talked to some supers on this street and next street, and they were all for it. We talked to management companies, they were all for it. all over the city, not being able to walk on the sidewalks. And uh, it's in front of my building, and I, there's no reason that all this garbage shouldn't be in the parking lane. Everybody at five o'clock comes out of offices, and they, come, they go to their house, etc. and they have to compete on very narrow sidewalks with those piles of garbage. There's absolutely no reason why the sidewalk, which is for walking, for rolling, if you're in a wheelchair, for pushing strollers should have this stuff on it when we have all of this asphalt available to us. So it's very satisfying to think about what we could do to repurpose this space and this space. Parking stop costs 70 a piece. So if you put three, it's 210. And the cones cost about $20 each. So if you have six or seven, it's another 70. So you have, you know, for $300, you have a protection and a place which is reserved.